Surviving the wild is no easy task. While we live within the relative safety of our homes within cities, most animals survive out in nature on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a daily struggle, so making through one day doesn't guarantee their survival the next day. Which is why most animals have developed their own methods of defense, which can improve their odds by a reasonable margin. Here are the different fatal ways with which animals protect themselves. But first, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Alright, here we go. Number 10. Redwood Ant Acid Attack There are no visually marked territories in the wild, but there are still some there nonetheless. Animals mark their territories by rubbing their scent on trees and other objects in nature. But marking territory is just one step of the survival drill. A proper defense system should also be in place in case someone or something trespasses into the territory. Our first entry on this list uses chemical warfare to hinder or deter enemies. The redwood ant, or scientifically called Formica rufa, uses formic acid to protect its colony. These ants have a gland in their abdomen which produces this acid which passes through a duct and gets stored in a reservoir. When the ants feel threatened or their space is invaded, they squirt out this acid from a hole at the tip of their abdomen. Even if a few ants get killed in the process, their priority is to protect the whole colony. The suspecting predator which gets a dose of this acid will have to battle through the thick acidic fumes. It also can corrode the mucous membranes as well. Formic acid can cause optic nerve damage which can lead to blindness. Just look at this colony shooting acid into the air like archers firing at the enemy. This is one animal you don't want to mess with. Number 9. Secretary Bird Tall legs, pink eyes and black feathers strangely protruding from the head makes it difficult to take the secretary bird seriously. But this long-lived bird of prey living in an African savanna can give a blow from his legs that Bruce Lee would envy. According to a 2016 study, its kick has the equivalent of 5 units of its own weight applied in a time span of 15 milliseconds. These birds weigh between 3.5 and, and 4.2 kilograms. A series of powerful and fast kicks are enough to trample and kill a snake, a lizard or a small mammal. Number 8. Sardine Bait Balls If you love sardines, then you probably might enjoy seeing this. What you're looking at is a bait ball. Kind of looks like a doner kebab, but instead of meat, it's live fish. So why does this happen? For defense purposes, of course. Individual sardines don't have much of a chance against larger predators, so the solution is this tornado of sardines congregating and circling at high speeds. These bait balls can reach up to 10 to 20 meters in diameter and can go down to a depth of 10 meters. Though a giant ball of sardines doesn't provide immunity from most predators, it does, however, increase the rate of survivability. Predators like swordfish attack the ball at high speed and swim away with a catch. Bigger predators like sharks just go head on and grab whatever they can get from the bait ball. For whales, it's just a matter of opening the mouth wide enough to swallow the thing whole. How fascinating. Number 7. Kentish Plover Fane Ever seen a riveting performance by an actor on screen which made you forget that you were watching a movie? Great actors play their parts with so much conviction that as viewers, it's often hard to separate the character from the real person. Even certain animals use acting or feigning for protecting their young. Distraction display is a type of anti-predator behavior used to distract the attention of a predator away from the nest or young. The Kentish plover does the same. Watch how it pretends to be incapacitated to lure the predator away from its nest. Once the predator is far away enough, the Kentish takes flight and returns home. These tiny birds weigh about 40 grams and this feigning technique is their only way of defense. Incredible how different animals come up with their own strategies which work for them and their environment. Number 6. Rolling Spiders This spider looks like it's dead and tumbling down a sand dune as a result. If you thought that, then that is what the spider intended you to think. The fact is, this spider is very much alive. The Sabrinus Reckenbergi spiders are known for their unique way of dealing with enemies. They literally cartwheel and roll away from danger. They're only found in Morocco and they are an expert at this gymnastic way of exiting the scene of impending doom. Another variety found in Namibia called the Golden Wheel Spider does a similar stunt, but it just merely rolls down the dune. What sets the Sabrina's Reckenbergi apart is that it can move its way upward or downward by using its legs to roll out of danger. And it's pretty fast too. It moves at a speed of 2 meters per second. Their unique movement was so fascinating that scientists studied them and built a robot with similar movement, which can be used for planet or deep sea exploration. How about that? Nature teaching us a thing or two. Number 5. 
ribbon worms. Have a look at this alienish worm-like creature. It looks gross to begin with, but that's not all of it. Watch how the worm squirts this weird white goo which spreads out like a web. It spreads so quickly that it's scary, almost like an infection spreading. This strange creature is called a ribbon worm, and rightfully so. The weird white substance is not a secretion, but actually a part of the creature to snare its prey. When a prey is detected, the ribbon worm pushes out this sticky white organ through a proboscis to ensnare the target. What's more, the white tentacle thing contains mucus that has a neurotoxin which paralyzes its victims. If that isn't hardcore, I don't know what is. They're known to reach up to 98 feet long. Imagine being snared by a giant version of these worms. Probably your worst nightmare. Number 4. Libya and Actinia Cohabitation Sometimes chances of survival are better when two or more animals team up together. Our next entry displays the concept of mutualism or cohabitation between two different species. The Libya is a type of small crab which has a very unique claw. It looks very flamboyant and almost flashy. It doesn't even look like it belongs to the crab family. Aptly called the boxer crab or pom-pom crabs, strange claws are actually actinia, a type of sea anemone. When the Libya is hunting for food, it uses this unusual claw to grab its prey while in hiding. Once the food is caught, both the crab and actinia proceed to consume it. The Libya uses the actinia since its claws are too delicate for hunting, so the actinia kinda serves like gloves for its claws. The actinia doesn't just help with foraging food, but also serves as a defense from predators. The anemones can sting, and that deters most animals from closing in on the crab. The anemones, in return, get access to more food and oxygen than they would if they were stationary. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Number 3. Electric Eel It would be wise to avoid this animal in the wild, not unless you want to be electrocuted. Though it's called an eel, it's in fact not an eel but a type of knife fish, but that doesn't diminish its reputation at all. These slimy creatures can zap up to 600 volts of electrical current. They have three pairs of abdominal organs which generate electricity. One is the main organ, then there's the hunter's organ, and finally the sax organ. They make up four-fifths of its body and help generate two types of electrical discharges, low voltage and high voltage. When it's threatened or about to be attacked by a predator, the organ discharges the electric current which stuns the predator. But animal predators aren't the only thing that these eels attack. There have been cases where eels electrocuted humans, which led to death. Luckily, they're not found everywhere. They usually inhabit the freshwaters of the Amazon and the Orinoco River Basin in South America. They even have an unusual breeding behavior. During arid seasons, the male makes a nest using its saliva, and the female lays its eggs in it. More than 3,000 of these eels can hatch from the nest. Slimy, but deadly. Number 2. Japanese Bees Imagine being cooked alive by extreme heat. Not the most graceful way to die, but it is a reality for some creatures in the animal world. Bees and hornets are natural enemies in the wild. A small group of hornets can destroy an entire hive of 3,000 plus bees in a matter of hours. A hornet is also larger than the average bee, so a fight between the two will always be in the favor of the former. To protect the hive, Japanese bees have come up with a truly unique form of defense. At the threat of a hornet, the worker bees allow the unsuspecting insect to fly into their hive. Once inside, a swarm of 5,000 bees surround the hornet in a tight little ball. There's no escape for the bug trapped inside at this point. What happens next is incredible. By the synchronous vibration of the bodies of hundreds of bees, the temperature around the trapped hornet increases to 47 degrees Celsius. The average hornet can't handle any heat beyond 46 degrees Celsius, so there's no way this guy's making it out of this death trap alive. In the end, you get a bait and very much dead hornet. Man, Mother Nature is vicious. Number 1. Horned Lizards Shooting Blood This incredible horned lizard has many defenses up its sleeves. If a predator were to make its way to one of these guys, their first line of defense is to blend in with the surroundings and stay still to avoid detection. If that fails, it gears it up to level 2 and runs in short bursts and stops abruptly to confuse the predator further. If stage 2 also doesn't deter the animal, it goes into its next defense, which is to puff itself up, making it appear larger than it really is. The puffed-up form is supposed to intimidate the enemy and also make it harder to swallow. Sounds like this lizard has all the bases covered, but that's not all. He's got one more ultimate trick in his bag of tricks. These horned lizards can shoot an aimed stream of blood from the eyes. It sounds too crazy to be true, but this is real. It does this by constricting the blood flow from the head, which increases the blood pressure, causing the blood vessels around its eyelids to rupture. 
What you see in the end is this steady stream of blood shooting out of its eye. It does this to confuse its predators, and the blood also tastes foul to canine and feline predators. Predatory birds, however, seem not to be affected by the blood, so the lizard needs to be careful around them. There you have it, all kinds of fatal attacks and defense systems which animals use to protect themselves. Have you ever been on the receiving end of any of these attacks? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. See you soon!